What is the crack lads? Welcome back to another player pack review and today we are taking a look at the epic Brazil pack. So this is a mixture of players such as Zico, Kaka and Roberto Carlos. So Zico is from uh, July 82 and then you've got Kaka in his prime. Kaka was an absolute beast lads 2006 and then you have of course Carlos as well who we're going to be getting into in just a second from Brazil 2002 squad. So, yeah, I mean, this is one of the stronger epic packs that they've released. And, you know, they've been releasing a lot of good big packs, man. I mean, as it comes to, um, you know, that time of the year where we're going to be seeing a lot of changes to the game, I think, in the next, you know, maybe two to three months, I think that they are kind of dropping a lot of very high-rated players. And if you're just joining, you're just kind of joining eFootball Dream Team, this is a good time if you do have coins. But, yeah, some of these players are absolutely insane. Um, I would say that Carlos is probably one of the best, you know, players in the game. Definitely, that's non-standard. And Kaka and Zico look absolutely brilliant as well. So we're going to get into it. We're going to start with Zico and work our way to Carlos. There is only three players. Zico is down as a classic number 10. I like the look of this guy, man. I like the look of his stats. Genuinely, he has everything that you could possibly want. Unwavering form, B rating for the player live update. And then, of course, you've got all your player skills that you could possibly need and want and desire in a card that's going to be playing as an amf now he is limited obviously to playing through the middle amf or ss he can play central as well but not as a primary position but yeah this is what you want when you have an amf man you need to have two things when you have an amf you need to have dribbling you need to have passing and you need to have a mixture of player skills that complement that right the only thing i think that's lacking from zico is his finishing but we'll be able to boost that up a little bit because he does have 25 levels to go as you can see there on his card but yeah this is everything we need dip and shot acrobatic finish first time shot one touch pass true passing um he's also got you know a couple of dribbling uh skills as well but the amazing run there i i think that's probably gonna like come into fruition when you're not controlling him um you probably won't see it that often because obviously the player id is a little bit kind of lacking at the moment in eFootball but yeah I expect Zico to be an absolute monster um and having him in a pack with Kaka obviously you've got two chances of getting two excellent AMFs but two very different AMFs I mean Kaka is going to be all about speed and acceleration and you know pace whereas Zico is going to be more about kind of like the complete AMF kind of like a messy type player so when we actually take a look at how we've trained him up this is my recommended build for Zico so we've got 25 levels and then of course we're going to be getting uh, 90 offensive awareness, 90 ball control, 91 dribbling, 90 tight possession, 90 low pass. We're also going to be getting 91 acceleration and 93 balance with 80 speed and 82 kicking power. Now, what lets this card down? I think as an AMF, if you're not shooting as an AMF, if you do not shoot, like if you're not a player that shoots a lot of shots, uh, you'll see how I kind of play uh, when I'm playing with Guti, attacking midfielder. Or as I'm playing with Messi, who I like to play on the wide, uh, kind of out wide, but I do like to cut in. So, you know, if I have Neymar on the left wing and Messi on the right wing, I'm playing an extremely different game with Neymar on the left wing. You know, Neymar is going to be all about on the, on like the wing, out wide, uh, taking players on, on the baseline or on the edge of the, edge of the, edge of the pitch. Like he's going to be outside, um, like on the end lines. And then, you know, Messi's going to be hovering in, kind of like roaming around the place. So, I genuinely think it depends how you play. I don't think if you, you know, if you don't shoot with Zico, there's no point having the finishing or the curl over 82, 83. So you could just leave that as it is and have a couple of more points if you wanted to train them up. Because the only thing that's lacking in this card is the stamina. So I do think having 78 stamina is probably going to be key. That drops his overall to a 97. Um, but I don't think it's a huge deal for this card because you're still going to have 90s um plus in every single stat that you need like balance and acceleration and offensive awareness as an amf is huge and then the ball control the pass and the dribbling everything is perfect there now if you do shoot a lot you could sacrifice and have a bit of a more well-rounded player like i genuinely think you could sacrifice this a little bit 88 offensive awareness is probably enough um for you know i'd probably leave the acceleration there but 89 offensive awareness is probably enough and then you could pump five in to the shooting to get you know up to 80 finishing and 87 curl but that's only if you're shooting we will be having alternatives and i am going to have an alternative video for zico if you're not spinning for him or kaka we're going to have alternatives to uh what players i think you know you could get to to slot in instead of zico 
Uh, moving on, we do have Kaka. So Kaka is an attacking midfielder as well. He goes to 97 overall. I think Kaka is a very different player. Obviously, we don't have unwavering form. That's not a huge deal when you've got the B rating. Um, but everything else, we've got that all important double touch. Kaka looks class as well. I think he's got one of the best um, kind of player models and looks that suits this kind of style that they're going for. And then, of course, we've got everything that we could possibly want. Now, Kaka is more of a, I think Kaka is more of a required taste when you're going to be training him up. There's a lot of ways that you can train Kaka up because of his base stats. And you're immediately drawn to his dribbling, his acceleration, and his balance. That's what I'm going to be drawn to there. But look at his player skills, man. You've got double touch, you've got chop turn, you've got soul control, but you've also got one touch pass, and then you've got long range shooting and curler. So, as well as outside curler. Don't sleep on outside curler, lads. It's a very important player skill if you have a player that uses his weak foot quite a lot. So, some of the players don't, but you can see there um, that Kakas is a high weak foot accuracy. Uh, but it's weak foot usage is rarely. So somebody like Roberto Carlos is going to use his weak foot a lot or Ronaldinho is going to use his weak foot a lot or somebody like that. But Kaka is a really, really good player, I think, uh, if you are going to be training him up. And I think this is how I would train him up. I think this is the best way of doing it. Again, you have that option whether you want to have the finishing. I just put the finishing at 80 and the rest of the stats are maxed out as best as possible. I've pumped a lot into passing. I put 10, 10 into passing. But Kaka really isn't like that whole player. He's not going to be sitting in like Zico with the 90s for passing with lofted and low. You're not going to get it much higher than, you know, 82, 83 for lofted pass, no matter what you do with Kaka's card. But look at the rest of the stats, man. You're going to have an AMF with 89 balance, 96 acceleration, 90 dribbling, 86 ball control and 80 finishing. That is insane. Added to that, then you've got better stamina and speed than Zico. And, of course, you have also got a bigger frame. You know, he's a 185 centimeters. He's got really, really nice ability on the ball. I think Kaka could be very, very meta, lads. There's a lot of ways you could train him up. I mean, to me personally, if I'm playing as Kaka, I'm not going to really pay too much attention to his passing. I'm going to probably take a few out of that. This is just, like, my build that I would probably do. Um, and I would probably just, to be honest with you, lads, I would probably max out this as much as I possibly could. Uh, I know speed isn't like the total be all or end all, but I genuinely think having that extra few points into speed and dribbling would be huge. You know, you're going to get a whole 97 uh, acceleration points and you're going to have 90 balance and 87 offensive awareness that brings him up to a 96 as well. And of course, you are going to get the boost depending on his form. And you can also have one or, you know, you can have one more on uh, shooting as well to bring it up to 81. That is a phenomenal car, but there is multiple ways to train him. And I am going to be showing you alternatives if you guys are uh, looking for that as well. And then last but not least, we have the GOAT. The GOAT left back, Roberto Carlos. One of the most famous Pez players now is becoming one of the best eFootball players. I genuinely think, lads, Roberto Carlos, since I've signed him, he's started every game for me. You know, his, his long range shooting, he's just such a unique card. I think he's one of the most unique cards because, look, right, you have... So many different player skills here, right? You've got unwavering form and B rating as standard with Carlos because he's an absolute machine. Straight off the rip, without even training him up, even though he's got 33 levels to go, right? You've got like a load of stats that are in the 80s. Like you've got 86 speed, 89 kicking power, 82 stamina and 81 balance without even training him up. This is that level one at his base level. Player skills, long range shooting, knuckle shot, rising shot, acrobatic finish for a left back. First time shot for a left back, but he's also got low lofted pass, long throw and pinpoint crossing. Absolutely insane. I have played practically hundreds of games with Carlos Lads and he never lets me down. Defensively, he is a bit of a liability, but we'll show you how we're going to train him up for that as well. Depending on how you play and how good you are of a, of a player and what way you want to play him. So this is how we've trained him up. He goes to 95 overall at this, but look at the stats you're going to get, right? So seven into passing, nine into dribbling, nine into lower body strength and eight into the defending and dexterity. This is going to give you an absolute monster left back that can roam up the left flank and can play as part of a five at the back and really attack with him or a three at the back and have that defensive capabilities, right? So just one thing to say, right? Depending on how good you are of a player, you don't need to waste as many defensive points if you are a very attack-based player or if you are a very kind of good player that's able to kind of like, you know, close down passing lanes and stuff, right? Carlos doesn't have interception or blocker as player skills. He doesn't really have any defensive skills at all, to be fair. But 
if you want, right, I think 8 defending is enough. At that, you get 81 aggression, and you also get 70 defensive awareness. I think anything lower than that, you're going to, you know, you're going to be way too more, too much more attacking. And to be honest, like, even if we were to take away a couple here, right, like 66 defensive awareness, we get away with that. It's not a huge deal if you're going to be manually defending a lot. But for, this, for where else you're going to be putting them, you're not really be going to, you know, making a massive difference on the card. The only thing that you could possibly make, I think, a difference with is the, you know, if you wanted to take them away from the defending and then put two, obviously, into uh, dexterity to bring up his acceleration 94 and his offensive awareness up to 76. But to be honest with you, lads, I genuinely think that's the best way of training him up. You're going to get, like, really good defensive stats there with the 81 aggression and the 75 tackling. And then, of course, you're going to have the ball control, the dribbling, and the passing at 75. And, of course, you're going to have the speed and acceleration with the stamina. All you want with Carlos, man, is to be closing as much space as possible and be, you know, really aggressive in the tackle. And trust me, that, I think, is the best version of him. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon with another video. We're going to have an alternative to this video as well where we have alternatives for Carlos. So we're going to give you two alternatives to Carlos if you're staying free to play. We're going to give you two alternatives to Zico and Kaka as well, as we like to do. And yeah, that is it for me, lads. I will talk to you later. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.